Hello guys, this is Imro Sarifin from webimros.com and today in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how can you connect a hosting subdomain with your blog or website, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a subdomain in the hosting account and connect that with blogger. Actually, this is little bit tricky because you have to play with the DNS settings. So you have to watch the video carefully. So you can see that I have a website webimros.com which is connected uh, with this hosting account. So let's first of all log into your um, hosting account, hosting panel, cPanel. So you can see an error, you have to, uh, I mean, put the host local name, CNAME, etc. So the may, uh, work is now from cPanel. Place of your cPanel and uh, here, DNS, zone editor, zone editor, which is in the domain section. Click on zone editor. And as uh, you can see my website, webindus.com. And here manage okay click on manage and now here um, come to blogger and you will see main copy the main and paste it here search field uh, search whatever so whatever related with uh, main delete everything which is related with main okay which is main Right now I'm not seeing anything with it here. Here is on related main. Delete it. www.mainwebindus.com Also delete this URL. Okay, mainwebindus.com also this one. WHM main windows of this one too. Uh, here cPanel main windows. Actually, it's not necessary to delete these things, but you can delete it everything which is related with main. Okay, when your subdomain, I'm deleting everything related main. will not create any error I think our work is done. I have deleted everything which is related main. 
so the main process now we're gonna start and uh, here you can see that a uh, add record button click the add record and uh, here type select c name okay I have to put the C name record over here. Okay. Now cop. Uh, you can see that blogger has given me some. I mean, C name or except the host name. So first copy main or anything which showing here. Copy it and uh, paste it on the valid zone name. Again, the second one. And this is fully record. This is the record name. Add record. You can see successfully the next one oh sorry let's create another record add record this is also type c name and copy the second you can see that is second one color zone and this one here just add it so we have successfully connected the dns okay our dns is i mean complete dns settings so it this process takes some time actually i mean this connect process take can takes minimum one or two hours but let me save it it will take some time and when it's done i'll uh, re review the video okay so we have I think I wait for five minutes and let's see it's working or not. It's a main data we need. Save it. Here you go. It's connected successfully. And the domain with this I uh, mean demo account has uh, successfully connected. Now just uh, to wait for the this one. Let me replay it. Let's see HTTPS is enabled or not okay it is unable to successfully process it will take a little time see main actually is right now also this is connected with uh, the i mean hosting account so it will take a minimum two or three hour to uh, show me the blog this blog okay let's refresh it it is taking time we have to wait okay it's been three hours let's see is connected or not you can see that uh, https has been enabled let's see below okay now it's working you can see that main.obimail.com now it's connected with blogger connected with blogger so this is how you can connect your hosting subdomain with blogger and uh, if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe